Arizona. It's not just a song by former Paul Revere and the Raiders member Mark Lindsay. It's actually a state. And it's got the Grand Canyon. So that's nice. Uh, but now I can't get Arizona out of my head. Arizona, take off your and then that makes me think of um, back in 61 <laughs> in a little town in Idaho. <laughs> oh, never mind. Um, getting back into Paul Revere and the Raiders origins. I don't talk about Paul Revere and the Raiders enough on this channel, but it's one of my favorite bands, uh, basically from the 60s. From They had a little run in the 60s and they had a TV show, but you didn't come here to hear about that. You came here because I'm Brickzar. Actually, I'm Jabbo. The channel's Brickzar. I've been doing this so long, I don't know what I'm doing. And things have gotten hectic again since uh, yesterday. It doesn't take me long to mess things up mess up the progress so I wanted to film a video for trains are fun and I got my trains out because trains are fun and um, I'm storing them in these cre creator boxes champion creator game boxes this is not the best way to store your trains it's okay for Lego but I've been breaking them I got to re-glue this one and it's just not a good storage solution and I thought about trying to get some of the th modifying some of the things that I store Lego in, but I'm probably gonna have to get like a um, one of those small bin carts that which work good for Lego, but I'm gonna get something where I can put uh, these trains in. So I've set all these over here for now. Uh, I, I've broken so many horns and smokestacks and all that kind of stuff. I've bent my flat car. Uh, I got a whole Lego version of this train though. Uh, it's uh, this is this flat car so the brick model railroader stuff. I need to continue to work on that. I have several brick model railroader Lego cars that I've made, and what I try to do is get the HO scale equivalent of that same one. So I got a whole little thing going uh, with that. But that's uh, yeah. So I, I've messed up my table, uh, and I'm going to go through uh, and figure out where I'm going to put all these shirts that I've been wearing all this year. It's got Two days left. Two days after today. It's hard to believe. And where are you going to put 365 shirts? We're going to the dark regions of the basement. This is a bunch of random stuff. I'll show you where I got it. It's like the part of the basement I don't even want to mention. Because it's, uh, it's a mess. Um... So I've been emptying out all these drawers. This is where I used to keep all the shirts. So uh, I would come over here each day to get a shirt. But now these drawers are empty. I don't know how many. These, this is actually my. Both of these used to be my daughter's. That was her original one. And then she. Yeah. She put labels on it. Um, and then this is the one when she got a little older. But then she's moved out. And she didn't keep this. Uh, but. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, there's five drawers in that one, four in that. I don't think I can put a month's worth in those drawers. <laughs> but I can probably store a lot of my shirts. So I've been going through and emptying them out. Oh, goodness. But I find stuff like this. Uh, that's used. Angry Birds stuff. I don't know why I still got all this took this out of there this is my old ebay and brick link orders and stuff from like 20 years ago <laughs> 15 to 20 years ago. the ebay stuff's like 20 years old the brick link started in 2004 selling this model railroader oh you know um so model railroader i had a subscription for a while i got all those magazines then Behind all these boxes are more boxes upon boxes, and there's model railroader magazines. I've come to a realization I'm never going to look at those again. I collected them. It's just, it's they're not worth anything, and now everything with video, it's like, I'm not talking about the Lego game video. I'm talking about video, like you're watching a video. Uh, the magazines aren't as useful, so I need to get rid of those magazines probably can't really sell them 
I'll pull them out and at some point try to get rid of them, but that'll clear up some spacers. This is like three rows of these magazine boxes at least, maybe four rows of magazines and books that I haven't touched uh, since long before we did the pee boxes. These are all the pee boxes that we did a video series. series. And I'm going to be, oh, I got a project I'm going to be working on in 2022 as far as that goes. Yeah, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even hardly access these. And it goes all the, way, all the way up to P44, I think, somewhere around there, or 45, whatever I got to. But I was going through my brick set, because these are all things that are on brick set in these boxes. And they're just in boxes, and they're stuff I know I'm never, ever going to build. Now, there, there are things that I haven't built that I want to build, but there's things that I have I know now that I'm never going to want to build them, so I'm going to get rid of them. So there's going to be some things, but it's going to take me a while because i got to move all this other stuff that's in front of it so I can get to it. But that'll thin out a lot of things. You know, 45 boxes. <laughs> I'll show you what's in that Zare bag. So this is other things that were in the drawers. I know it's dark over here. There's our old thermostat <laughs> that I broke. Uh, another Angry Birds. I don't think this one's... Hoth Battle Game. Oh, I got Yeah, I think that's sealed. I'm go. Don't want that. I don't think they might be bricks as interested interested in it anymore. We got Thomas. Oh, crack on the track. A couple of Thomas books. I'll save those. Um, yeah, I'll keep my Thomas books there. Oh, oh, look! You never know what you're gonna find. A nine volt motor. <laughs> Uh, and then this other random box what's in here uh, a series 10 minifigure could be Mr. Gold you never know yeah, I do know it's not Mr. Gold um, some random pieces I, I, I'll have to worry about those later uh, I think this turned into Tom Servo at one point so yeah this is mostly just junk old tripod I, I used in videos probably probably broken uh, actually it's probably for iphone 5 won't work on the new ones but, yeah. does anybody remember zare or as we used to call it zares uh, this is a zares or zare bag uh, i know where the old zare used to be in Austell, georgia so this says jabo's mine is it minecraft all right this, uh, just a uh, viewer discretion advised warning here. This is my oldest thing that I have. Oh. Oh my goodness. It is in pretty... It's got some... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, silverfish mixed in with it. Oh, it's disgusting. Um, yeah, this was my security blanket, <laughs> basically. <laughs> oh, it's, it's sad. I don't know if it, was it this bad, or is it just, oh, it's pretty bad. So my mom couldn't throw it away, and she gave it to me. Um, I don't remember, because I was like, one, <laughs> two. <laughs> but that's a 52-year-old piece of fabric that a two-year-old jabbo used to drag around with him everywhere all right i'm gonna do another uh, update to my bricklink area so i've i've put the poppy max back in service but since they're not ideal for picking i've just put large elements in there like duplo and large brick pieces for the most part i think i got some minifigures in here uh oh, I'm crushing a Benny there. So I, I've gone back to using these. Uh, so I've got a few more to fill up because I, I am full of drawers. I mean, I'm up to 8,432. There's, of course, there's like 2,000 missing in between there because the way my numbering system is. But um, yeah, the drawers are full. So these are drawers I emptied with the last batch that I put in the, the Poppy Max. Still got some things. To add, where did the other stuff go? 
Oh yeah, this is stuff that doesn't have a drawer yet. So, got the store back open. We're trying to sell stuff, get rid of some stuff, so I can make room for uh, more stuff and get ready for Brick Fair, which I've been doing too. Oh, that reminds me, I need to start working on the windmill. I gotta, so I got to go start looking for parts for the windmill. And Oh, these are the containers I was talking about, like to put my trains in, ones that are this size. I like these longer ones. Some of the ones I've seen aren't this long, but I think that would work for my trains. And I actually thought about rebuilding. Some of these you can like rebuild. <laughs> um, but these got like vintage stuff in it. It's vintage slopes. This, uh, spoiler alert, or not spoiler alert. I actually put some of the vintage stuff in here, including the turntable, I think went in here, <laughs> or one of these drawers. Uh, more vintage parts there. And then here in here so i got i know i can get the parts just from a few of these drawers there's more uh, in order to build the windmill oh so this is the city oh. <laughs> it's not looking good <laughs> but these progress videos i mean we got to take the good with the bad so this is the bad but Clearing out those containers, getting rid of things. We're going to have a big purge of Lego sets in 2022. Uh, I'll, oh, let me go back in front of the camera. All right, so I only got a couple of days left. I had one more video, which I, I wanted to use the shirt that Kill Jones sent me, which I guess I'll have to do tomorrow or Friday. That's the only days that are left. <laughs> uh, and I don't, I don't know if I'm going to have time to do it. i got to work on Thursday. so And Friday I wanted it to be the last video of the year. I, I'll figure something out. I'll figure, I, I've been also packing up the Tipper Truck Army to take to Brick Fair, Alabama. But I also wanted to do a video with the Tipper Truck Army. <laughs> uh, I'll be packing that up, the UCS uh, Tipper Truck. Uh, so, yeah, it's like, I get ideas in my head. They don't always work out way I, uh, I plan on it so but anyway I, I should do a, like a a video for like goals or wanted list or things that I'm going to be doing uh, I, I know when I began this year it was about organizing and doing a video every day wearing a different shirt in every video and trying to do I was trying to do like a set try and take a comment I was doing a lot, of, and I thought I did good the first few months of the year, like set, comment, uh, a haul, all mixed into one video, and it just got harder as the year went along just because being busy and all that, but uh, hopefully the finale, finale of the year will be decent. I, I have no, to be honest, I have no idea what I'm going to do the next two videos, so, <laughs> much like every other video for the last six months. So... Anyway, one of the things I keep talking about, uh, or I talked about, purging. So, I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of sets. I'm going to be parting them out, most of them. Some of them I may sell by the set, but early in the year, I was really, really working to get to the top 25 on brick set as far as uh, sets, total number of different sets. And I'm, I'm close to 6,000 total sets. I'm at... In the 4,000s, I don't even know what the number is because I have I actually the last few hauls. I don't think I've added most of what I've I've bought or what's come in, but it still only got it get I got up as high as 33, <laughs> and then I jumped down to 35 in just a matter of days. Uh, but fortunately, another uh, YouTuber, uh, Duck Bricks, uh, he's got a, a large, a very large collection, and he's high enough where he can see who is number one so we talked about that in a previous video so now i don't have the motivation to to move up the list because um the ones at the top of the list are just checking stuff and they don't actually own it <laughs> but uh and I, I was like i don't need it it's like you know i want to uh, i don't think i talked about it but i wanted to set the guinness book world record for most built sets I told Duck Bricks, I was like, you you should just do it, because the record's 1,251. I wanted to double it. I wanted to do 2,502 and, and break the Guinness Book World Record for most built sets. And it sets with 
you have to have complete set with instructions for for the the Guinness Book of World Record thing. And I remember when I saw the record, I'm like, this is ridiculous. There's people that got twice or more of that, but they just never built them all at once and displayed them and had Guinness come back. In fact, most of the Guinness records are ridiculous. Like, oh, the world record speed build for the ATAT. -AT. It's like, this is the only person that did it. They weren't racing against anybody. <laughs> he just filmed himself doing it, and it's like a record. And it's like, those, those are nonsense records. But I thought, yeah, somebody could do that, or I could do it. And but Duck Bricks has already got most of his stuff built. I mean, he's he. I'm sure just of what he's got built. If he could just, I don't know what he did with his instructions, <laughs> but all they would have to do is come to his house and then do an inventory of everything. Which yeah, that could take days, but it would be the Guinness Worth World Record. He he would have it. There's no question that it, he's got more on display built than what was the previous world record. So that's not a record that I'm going to shoot for anymore. So I don't need the Chima sets. I don't need the Ninjago sets, except for the city sets. <laughs> the good Ninjago sets, the the nice buildings, and also the sharks and the Garmadons and the other shark. Well, maybe there are a few Ninjago sets I need. But I don't need Chima sets. <laughs> And I, I have at least 50, at least 50, if not more, Chima sets. I'm like, we built like two of them. <laughs> How many Chima videos did we do on this channel? I think they might be bricks. I think he did when he was little, like 12 or 13. I think we did like, I think he was 13 when the channel started, right? No, 2012, he would have been 11. <laughs> oh. Man, so I think that's where most of the Chima videos are. And I know he's not interested in Ch Ch Chima now. So, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. So I, I might do a video of, like, uh, pulling all the sets out and just seeing what we got. And mo a lot of them are in those pee boxes back there, you know, packed away and forgotten. So it, I'm not going to be building those Chima sets. Even, the, like, the cool-looking ones. That li the one big one, the Lion Temple thing, it's pretty cool. It was like one of the first sets that had the bright light yellow in such quantity. And, you know, the 2 by 4 bright light yellow brick used to be non-existent. And then that set came out. And then it's like very, super abundant now. So, yeah, things like that. So I got a lot to work on. But I wanted to go ahead and mention that because I, I don't know what I'm going to do with these next two videos. But I'll be back tomorrow <laughs> in a different shirt. And I won't be saying that probably on December 31st. Think about it, man. But I really, just in case I forget, in case something happens to me between now and tomorrow or Friday, uh, thank you so much for watching all these crazy videos. And I will continue to make crazy videos. Because I'm crazy. See you guys. I think I'd like to start a group, so come along with me. It's all mine.